I work for Cisco, and actually I am the Tetration CSC. The Tetration is a, a kind of solution to the, the, the data center visualization solution. Actually, it the gathering all the flow, all the packet, and analyze the dependency or some the alerts or other things. But here, I will talking about the, some the network device. Uh, <coughs> maybe two years ago, we announced Open NXOS. It's kind of the, some, the operating system in network device. It's open means actually this device adopts fully Linux feature. The previously, we have same name, NXOS, the name of operating system or network device. Actually, not that whole network device, the, the data center perspective network device operated by NXOS. But that times, we did not use kernel stack, only user space nest stack. So third party application or other application not easy to integrate with network device. But uh, two years ago, we announced open NXOS means fully adopt Linux network feature. It means kernel stack, and we develop network device for specific hardware for the network switch. We inter so it means, uh, and another, we provide some the software installation or management via RPM to actually YUM. Uh, at, this time, at this time, it's only providing YUM, but uh, we provide another SDK or some the way to packaging third-party application or our custom build application in the network switch. Because uh, the needs from the Google or Facebook, they want to the network vendor just to give me a box, I will develop my own software in the hardware UL box. It means we're providing kind of Linux box with lots of interface, 10 gig interface, maybe 40 or 10, uh, 60, 10 gig interface with the Linux or system. Then they will develop their own custom application, even the routing or switching application, and they integrate their data center. It kind of a, uh, one of the trends of the Google or Facebook. So the company is, uh, internet company, the demands is trend, uh, moving to just give me a box. I will managing and using this product. Yeah, so this is kind of the open NXOS uh, a kind of trend to beat a demanding of the, the Cisco's customer, uh, big customer's demand. And another thing is the um, supporting container. At this time, it's not the Docker container, just LXC. We support LXC. So another container is we call the guest shell. And the guest shell is secure, isolated, container so third party application can develop some software or their custom needs in guest shell and learning their own purpose on routing or switching protocol on Linux. This is uh, the, the fundamental the open NXOS. Yeah, there are some so this uh, NXOS use Linux feature so same command used in IP config, or IP or other command. And big customer, ki kind of the Google or Facebook, wanted to leveraging lot protocol. The Facebook use BGP, internal BGP. It means they wanted to learn their own customized BGP protocol. How to adopt this customer's demands on network vendor perspective. So we're providing some guest shell it means it's a runtime environment and the development environment. Put your code in my network switch and managing for your purpose. This kind of approach. The VR app is kind of the isolation, actually mapped to Linux the namespace. Yeah, actually VR app is used, uh, massively used in the network device to isolate, isolate, uh, routing or some other things. Actually, VLAN is kind of the logical isolation, but does not specify the routing. There's now still the routing process. But the VR app is 
the isolation about the routing and actually the same IP address overlapping allowed via VRAP. So the VRAP is directly mapped to Linux namespace. And custom application using Linux socket is well integrated because it's just Linux with a specific network device, network device driver for Cisco built in AZ. Yeah, it's a kind of Linux. This is architecture. Yep. Uh, you just explained the benefit of the command stack. No, uh, no, no, I actually show some the how to leverage this feature. It actually, maybe uh, not the benefit, how to use this Linux box as a Linux, uh, this network switch as a Linux box. Yeah, actually we moved to the open architects because we think to adopt the kernel stack, then we get more uh, the third party application to integrate and we providing some the, the customer demands. But it means what lose, what for lo we lose moving to that stack to kernel stack. Right, what are the cons? Cons, yep. I didn't think so about the what the cons. Yeah, this is architecture of uh, the NX OS. Uh, this is the device. Actually, the hardware is uh, the network switch has some, you think, maybe two CPU. It means one per Intel CPU. Just control the system, Intel. And another thing is this chip, another ASIC using for data forwarding. Yeah, th this means it's the data forwarding, Cisco built Cisco ASIC, and we need to develop Cisco network device driver and integrate with the kernel stack. And third part application, or the, we built our NXOS application, means same using kernel and same integrate with other application. So, the customer can choose not just NX OS, I will use another routing protocol or as L2 forwarding. You can do and uh, this time replace with my own routing stack or routing protocol. Uh, it, sh it shows some the born again shell, just a shell. Yeah, here is the IP route, as a Linux box, shows some IP notes. The name is some different, ETH 1 1. It's just the naming, and it shows only uh, up the interface. Actually, it does not display the down. A lot of interface, but just the up interface. And the another thing is the, your, this kind of VEOVC is internally used controlling network device. So it's not purpose for the third party application or the, the that, uh, other purpose, but only internal purpose, managing network device. Uh, here is the, the repo URL. It means you can update or get the another software package from here. And actually, this is basic NSOX repo. There's a lot of the repo you can download. It's based on Wind River Linux distribution. At this time, it's Wind River 5 version, and next version is based on Wind River 7 version. And another guest shell based on the CentOS 7. I'll show you some the how to use the VRF and namespace. This command is Linux, uh, actually, network switch commands, configure, configuration terminal, and create VRF context devops. And this is the default gateway for DevOps namespace. And the adding ETH1 to DevOps namespace. You can see. And uh, you may be here after addressing is I see the DevOps namespace. In the special IP net NS list, then you get the created from the NXOS, and this is the list of 
to develop namespace. And the IP, NetNX EXCC DevOps IPA means the interface binding to DevOps VRF, DevOps namespace short interface. Previously, I put here, and you can see this interface. It just to show the how the VRF and your namespace related creation, uh, create namespace on Linux and create VRF on NXOS is interchangeable. Uh, this is guest shell. It's the purpose of guest shell is actually some providing uh, third party application development environment and the ex runtime environments. The third party can build their own application based on CentOS 7 and providing some uh, additional package from the same architecture, Linux. CentOS 7 distribution, same package can install from here and use and learn at this environment. But there are some limitations about the, the, the main purpose is data forwarding and switching. It's the, the main purpose of the switching. But custom application may be exploit the CPU power other things, then the, the, it may be some service interrupted by guest shell. So we have a limitation about CPU, CG, and memory, and disk. It, we can con configuration, but there are some the top limitation about utilization in guest shell. Yeah, this is guest shell. In guest shell, it's uh, securely isolated, so there is a, a kind of tool to integrate with network switch and guest shell. One of the command is changing web app. It means similar to IP net NS EXCC namespace. But in guest shell, just changing web app means using the namespace of a management namespace and learn these commands. The same similar management installs some software from the guest shell. As already we used in the Linux box. Another thing is to just show uh, in guest shell in accessing the previous create namespace DevOps and the show IP address. And this is a previous computer in NX OS, some switch or operating system, and the show in guest shell. Because actually the, some application may be run on guest shell means they want to control or they want to get the information from the, the main service traffic via network device. For example, uh, maybe we have some the the flow visibility or some the how many packet transfer from one interface to another physical interface. Then the guest shell should be accessed the isolated namespace and get the information from this real traffic and summarize and deliver some other management tool. Or we if we install. Ansible, or we install Puppet or Shep for the configuration management, configuration perspective. The operating team maybe think, I want to managing Linux network device similar to Linux server. Then we deploy same tools, Ansible, or Puppet Shep, or Salt, with same tool managing different device. One for network device, one for Linux server then the guest shell could be used for management. That is per perspective. This is just the access to read and want to do something, actually modify, then using utility to host. To host, then actually learn the NXOS commands. Yeah, this is uh, compilation Linux box and the do host actually learn this command in NXOS.
the question is the the purpose what I mean purpose is developing customized application and install the third part application to managing network device perspective. Which is kind of the architecture about the your NXOS and your sketch shell. A separation securely separated, build your own application and communicate with NXOS, then configure and get the made data from NXOS to NXOS. A lot of things is the monitoring. It means previously means uh, Linux server or Linux box manage the via current tools, managing Linux managing tool, but how to integrate or how to utilize my current monitoring tool to monitoring network device. This perspective, the monitoring, the open NX OS providing similar approach, seamless to same tool, managing network device, Linux server. And another tool is some, um, this kind of the, yeah, the, the in, in, uh, inspection or uh, get, the, get the, the data from the actual real flow. Uh, here is kind of the uh, network flow. We see the old flow from the guest OS and summarize and deliver it to some cluster. Means cluster means them the gathering data from the whole packet and the whole flow and analyze this. It's done, it could be done in network device without other software, other virtual machine on the, on other, the, another box. It's just to develop software and deploy in network, set, network switch. Then this looks like kind of server and get the data from the, the, the all the traffic between what peer to network switch, get the information and okay, utilize these tools. Actually, this is maybe not, maybe not familiar <laughs> with you <laughs> because it's a kind of the management perspective. The previously, we have a simple network management protocol as managing, but mainly used for monitoring network device. This is SNMP. And SNMP is uh, old RFP and there is a lot of uh, requires or the, the, the demands to more effectively control and managing network device. So another uh, management protocol that comp is came out. We wanted to resolve to the, the pitfall of the SNMP and we introduced how to managing a lot of device, network device, and effectively configuration, and some other things. So new tool is NetComp. NetComp providing first approach is programming interface. The previous SNMP has a kind of the API, but it's not well defined. So another management protocol should be providing the programmatic interface, and another thing is the, the runtime data and the compression data. There is a need to separation between runtime data and compression data. Maybe it means we configure that interface in the compression file. It's kind of compression data, but we gathering ARP table or other runtime data. Is we need to differentiate because sometimes we wanted to get the only operation data, actually runtime data. It's not configured. It's automatically discovered and generated in the learning that device. Another thing is computation. So we need to separation, computation, and the runtime state data. Oh, sorry. Another thing is the not, the, the, not specific to device we wanted to configure, enable was the developer service. The SNMP actually does not uh, have a capability to configure network device, but normally just to get the data from the device for monitoring. And, but here, another protocol wanted to configure a kind of a service 
it means not not one better device, uh, kind of the some series of device we have to configure the perspective as kind of service. And another thing is the the compilation checking and recovery. It means similar to database two-phase commit protocol. Actually, database has executed some command updating or actually update on deleting. And then, last command is of the commit, this the delete are uh, effected to real database. But previous command, just to put the command is on the ply, just affected some the state or some database. There is no meaning of the commit. So the comp provide there is another capability. Check the commit, it means if the compilation, I put the compilation was called API or other things, and I found it's wrong, then we need to roll back all commit. The previous there is no way. Actually, Linux compilation maybe is not th that way. The IP address you put the IP address, then is after command, return, immediately affected that device. But this want to do some isolation about compilation and commit or rollback. This is a kind of the, the uh, means the NetComp, RESTComp, GRPC, Google RPC is a uh, management protocol to management tool. And this is um, the another modeling how to model network device. Actually, network device have a lot of the vendors, the means, they own their specific configuration. Actually, Cisco has uh, the well-defined the, the data, so other, um, another company means that after Cisco, it's the similar data structure, similar command of the Cisco. But actually, uh, they want to develop another feature, or excellent general feature, then there is a new command set, one new data model, how to describing this or get the data. It means they wanted to say, okay, we want to make, make uh, another data model. If we have a data model, then we easily get the data, how to configure, how to get data from the device. Similar to XML schema. XML schema define how XML documents will described. If we see the schema, then we can say this document is compared to the XML schema or not. And how to use and what the element should be a fear or not. Same similar meaning is data mo young data model, young phone network. I don't understand why use another young is XML baby enough, but network vendors and other group develop new data model Yang. I will show some the how the Yang is describing. And there are some two type of data, compilation and operation. I mean compilation means some data I can configure, but operation data is gathering from the in operation state. It's ARP table or some the 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 routing table. It means operation data. And there are some the vendor specific or standard item. Pro operation specific, operation standard, compilation specific, compilation standard. Uh, actually, Yang has three meaning. Yang means some the kind of the model language, similar to XML schema. How to describe network device feature or network device capability? within Yang, and another meaning is in data model. It means what the data structure, the actually in data, what is dependency, not dependency, the architect, actually architecture, or organization of data in say the data model. And another thing is in device data. It means network device has Yang model, then the device give us or the management software to network data, device data. It looks like this. This is uh, a kind of young 
one yang, two py yang, just to show this is a hierarchy. And here is the module name ITF interface. It's a standard yang. ITF defined, we describe interface like this. And there are interface Z means there is not single interface. There are a lot of interface, then kind of a list. We describe a list interface and interface has key name and another attribute name, description, type, enabled, other things. The data is, can be interchangeable means XML schema or some this architecture similar, but describing this way and Yang use the meaning container and list and lib. Lib is terminal element does not containing other uh, children nodes and list a kind of the elements have children and another is the key and value. Actually the type of value there is modeling just the type, string type and name is name. Data type is defined in IETF and vendor specific also define their own data type. It depends on what the feature or what the capability provided by the vendor. XML, uh, actually Yang, Yang model can transform to XML. There's a well-defined tool to Yang to XML. XML means this is namespace, XML namespace, this is the namespace name, and it is the interface Z and a lot of interface here, interface, and we e easily expect name element and type. Type means kind of the string or, uh, yep, type and enable the kind of the, the, the value true or false. This is changed to XML. It means leap. Previously, young model has leap is another element without children. And another list is the interface is container. Container has a children's. So this is the modeling network device capability and network device the, the, the data. What data can get from network device and put to network device. Just to describe in Yang. Uh, and the commercialized tool or open source tool get the Yang they understand the how to configure network device and what data can get from this device. And the type already defined in same Yang. That means same type da data but different name or different data, uh, different, uh, same data name but different type. The tool understanding the Yang and identify the capability of a network device and easy to interface with device and the management tool. This is purpose, how we develop the Yang. And these day, Yang is popular, uh, used popular in NFV. It means, NFV means uh, there are some kind of the network function, but uh, it's fundamentally virtual. They wanted to deploy in cloud or some virtualization environment and they wanted to need Agile to deploying this virtual appliance with a specific purpose. That time they understand, the, okay, we leverage Yang. We get the Yang from the virtual uh, VNF, and then we put the some value from the Yang. It's the meaning of the IP address. It's meaning of the some the function, and then deploy easily, and I put we. So, telco company kind of the K, uh, in Korea K two S K T heavily depends on network device orchestration in Yang model. We, we understand this in Yang. What is Yang? 
And why is needs for describing network device, network device capability? And then we introduce uh, NetCom protocol. NetCom protocol is kind of the RPC protocol. The payload is XML. And the XML, the element schema is similar to the previous Yang model, but the XML schema has not the same, not actually not the same, but it's similar to Uh, the basically, the NetCom protocol using SSH, secure shell, and RPC message, RPC request and reply. And there are some the operation means get just the read, actually get get config just to get the configuration, and edit config wanted to modify the configuration. Get operation means just the operation data. And content is the XML data payload. It looks like this. If you wanted to using get information for learning compilation, that get is learning compilation. It means not the compilation data. It's automatically gathering from the traffic, ARP table or routing table is get from get operation and get config is a compilation. We put the IP address, speed and the description and name is interface is kind of a compilation data. We get this data from get config. Edit config is wanted to do modify, delete other things to the compilation data. The copy config and delete config is a uh, very specific network device. Network device has a kind of a state. Normally two states, one is a running state and another is a start of state. It means learning state is boot up network device using the what compilation in the memory. It means memory means it's volatile. But start the compilation is permanent storage, save the compilation. And every time network device boot up using the start the compilation and getting all data in the learning compilation. Another thing is the network, that comp use the commit, it means some the rollback or commit means there are some the another way to not immediately apply all the command after checking, validating, and commit or rollback. So another one con ca uh, one <laughs> compilation is candidate compilation or some the not persistent but not running compilation is kind of compute in that comp context. And there's uh, some lock or not means a kind of locking. In database, we called before updating some law, we have to lock the record or table or some other granularity. But same similar concept is when you're updating in case of edit compilation, then we can lock the compilation and update. But this is a simple code via Python with NetComp code. Actually, some the libraries imported from the Python and specify what device, what port, and what user and password. NetComp manager, the package, actually, the previous we, you import here, yeah. NC client, NetComp client, import manager, and connect host port, user, and password. And this is using SSH, so there are some the host key check, verify or not. And another thing is device parameter, to what device you want to connect. Because uh, there is a lot of network device, means there is a lot of vendors developing that device. And there are some specific vendor specific NetComp attribute. So we wanted to say specify what device is kind of the Nexus OS or kind of a Juniper, Genos, or some other iOS XR. And this is configuration. And then connecting. And this is just uh, some filter. I wanted to see only host name and version, the means. You can specify the file or some just a string, that's enough means host name and version. 
and then you get the, the reply just to, to change the XML. You just parsing XML, and from the XML data, RPC reply contains data and native and host name. It means just like this. It kind of responds from the XML. It's the XML data. And the data element contains this item. This is Cisco iOS XC native and the version and host name. It's a simple how to use NetComp. And NetComp just the using the payload as XML. The XML data is defined per vendor specific. So how to get this data is very questionable. In, in uh, the first time you want to use NetComp, then how to get the format or the message, the template, when I change in computation, when I get the data. So the network device sh has some capability to changing all the information to XML. It means uh, NSWorx has a kind of command Command means show the running data, show the computation data, and pipeline XML, then this change looks, uh, translate the XML format. Then the tool or well, some people understand, okay, when I get the, some the interface brief, then this format of XML data will pass to from network device to management software. So understanding what element I wanted to interest and I used how to the structure of the documents. Another thing is the how to configure. Actually, I did configuration. Then, what payload I have to put the network device. There's another utility, XML in. Then, the uh, prepare the how to generate XML data for computation, not to get the computation. Here. I wanted to com configure host name changing this, then this documents, actually the data payload of the net comp generated. I wanted to change uh, here the value. Actually, I wanted to change in host name, the name of switch, and I put the name of switch value here, and the whole data put the, the using the comp protocol, then network device understand, and the changing host name. This is the XML data. It's not easy to understand. Actually, not get hold the format of the XML. So the NX was providing two commands, pipeline XML and XML in to generate data to manipulate with the management tool or some other sample code. Last thing is kind of the net comp, uh, last comp. Yeah, we mean the last, or that we know is the similar to HTTP protocol. Yeah, we adopt HTTP protocol, same functionality of NetComp, but just to uh, adopt REST API's feature. But we easily here, yeah. RESTComp only use HTTP method, get, post, put, patch or delete. And it's the corresponding netcomp command, get, same as get and get comp. Post, maybe edit comp. Actually, this is updating data. That means all edit comp. Yeah, this is, uh, here is the less comp c command and the netcomp operation are mapped like this. And payload, previous net comp, only XML data. But the rest comp, it's rest, mostly use JSON, not XML. Yeah, it can use XML, but these day, most of JSON API, rest API uses JSON type. So there's two contents payload type, one for XML, one for JSON. And another thing then, how I get the API endpoints. Actually, API endpoint is address of the network device. And what data 
I pass to and what the path I have to specify for what operation for get or update. Here it means this is IP address, a management IP address of network device, and root is a less complicated. request. Normally root is API and data store is data store is learning compilation or learning or comp. Actually get the learning data is just the learning and update compilation, the compilation. And this is the young module and container. The previously I showed the young about briefly and there are concept of module, container and lib. This is module name and this is container and lib. Which means we specify what data should be changed or get. It's similar to concept of list. And there are uh, some other options. So for example, you can see the network data management and the API. We want to get the learning data and interfaces as module name, uh, interface uh, kind of a container name, and lib. The interface actually lib has key the of the name. Then the interface name is key. So this interface name and the deep means detailed information of these elements. So we get the data from uh, with some the architecture, <coughs> not architecture, hierarchy of data. Interfaces, interface, this means key and type of string and description type enabled or model data. We can specify this API, then we update or get the data via last comp. Maybe last comp is more easily understood because if network device providing this young, then we get the how I call or how I make some the API call with young. The previously net comp is XML data. We need to understand how to XML format generate and when I request then what the XML format get from the network device we utilize XML in a while XML, but in last last comp, the young specify and the young tell the hierarchy of documents how we how this organized, so easy to understand and easy to call based on the young. Okay. Yeah, this is um, the output of last comp. Leave. Yeah, I actually I <laughs> delivered about the open and express the sh short time, but uh, I said the Anax OS is uh, Cisco's network device operating system, but adopt Linux feature and open means adopting Linux and providing some third party or custom built application runtime. It means the management perspective or some other interesting job done in network device, not separate server. We do not require not separate server on run in the Linux Linux device. That is an SDK. Oh, sorry. That is SDK developing this third party application based on Center 7 container, RC container. You build your own application and run in the Linux box. There is some easily testing we provide in Sandbox. Actually, developer side is kind of the Cisco's the environments to how to develop software on Cisco device, server, network, some other things. And this is Sandbox, it's a runtime instance, the demo or some of the runtime instance easily connect and see the, the compilation or some, what kind of the, some SAS trial version it means, its device. And there's some, another thing is the virtual appliance. We sell physical, network switch and we provide same operating system but running your virtual box or VMware Fusion or ESX in KVM. So you get some this virtual image 
and you can easily test in young or less composed things. And if you set up the virtual NXOS, then you can see this developer sandbox. This sandbox inside network device looks like this. You can easily API young XML and NX API easily testing management perspective. It works for network device and testing request and response. And you understand, okay, I will program managing this network device via developer sandbox. Okay, this is what I prepared for my session. Any question? Actually, is maybe most of the guys not uh, expected what I presented here. Yeah, uh, you, you, uh, so maybe some the, the kind of the difference between. I want to show some the Linux. Uh, one, uh, I want to show some the my uh, Linux feature on network device how, how to management, but maybe you expect more deeper in Linux networking, isn't it? <laughs> okay, question. Yeah. Um, are any of the uh, REST conf or uh, uh, do any of your uh, GitHub open source things include the REST conf or net conf servers, or are those uh, proprietary? A lot of the open source project in GitHub. This is one of the GitHub, Cisco Net Dev, NX, NX SDK. And here you visit the Net Dev sandbox. It's kind of the runtime environment. You connect remotely and the testing, you mean some Net Complex Scan Server. This one you want to try. Okay. First of all, thank you for your presentation. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I I heard uh, I saw this uh, SDK is really good for the configuring the uh, individual uh, switch or router. But uh, uh, in a real environment, you need to orchestrating the configuration of all the switches and routers. Is there any way or is there any uh, open source for that? Yeah. Or you have it? <laughs> yeah, Cisco have. Uh, orchestrating tool for the huge network device management tool have one for commercialized version and another thing is the, the open source management tool. Yeah, we certainly see the open source means Ignite, a kind of NX device management tool that has put the computation, POAP, and a lot of put the data, some the telemetry data, other things, and NSO Network Service Orchestrator is a commercialized software to managing all network devices, Beer, Young, and NetComp. Um, so, so all of this, you know, all of this is great for like uh, doing an orchestrating configurations, modifying some rib information. Are you guys thinking of kind of like? taking it one step further and possibly trying to do something with like switch dev or SAI before so that people can actually start developing their own you know data plane applications uh, so that people can actually start uh, doing things with the ASICs Problem? I, I didn't catch the URL. Oh, uh, is, is there any um, is there any intent to start bringing certain like uh, APIs like switch dev or like SAI so that people who are let's say developing their own routing protocols could start developing them for the NXOS platform that need to do certain custom things? Mm, you mean some the their own routing protocol in NXOS? Yes, if someone uh, outside of what Cisco is offering like if yeah, in NXOS also has some the contribution about the contribution about the actually the, the, the
developing environments, but the open community, what I learned from my customer, they're looking for Kruga is L2, L3 switching, the open source project, and they wanted to using that, the protocol in the NXOS. They wanted to try to learn the Kruga because they have their own management scheme and NXOS maybe does not meet the, their requirements. They wanted to adopt a new protocol and they want to do managing. So Cisco doesn't uh, maybe not actively involve or encourage the third party application, but it depends on what customer needs. Actually, we have uh, advanced service team and we have some the consulting the role. So we understand the customer requirements and that we get involved with developing some code or some of the product delivery. But the not specific requirements or not specific intent from the customer, maybe we didn't engage to uh, open and some extra routing protocol. Maybe we focused in our products, our product our core, and we will invest our feature. Yeah, is the answer for you? Okay. Thank you. Any questions? Hey. Yep. Um, I would like to uh, run my own Linux distribution on a switch without the NXOS at all. Is it possible? Will it be possible? And when? Pardon? You contribute to your Linux without NXOS? Yes. Yeah. I don't want NXOS. It's yep. some binary thing. I just want my what I'm used to do mm -hmm. on servers. I want the same thing on switches. So is it possible? Will it be possible? Uh, actually, it's possible. It means you want to your own Linux distribution on NXOS. Actually, the not NXOS, actually the network device. means in the name the Nexus switch, you replace operating system you know, on your things. Your distribution is could. You can. You can. Yep. Can? You can do that. Uh, for ASIC, library for ASIC, uh, ASIC means the, the network device, yeah. device drive kind of, I will check. I, I understand. <laughs> I understand uh, this is possible via some kind of contract for Cisco and the customer. But basically, it's, uh, the, this code also may be open because we adopt Linux. So I will check and reply to you. I didn't see a driver, so that's why I'm asking. I, I, guess I got it. So Open Nexus has been out for a couple of years. Um, how much adoption are you seeing by customers? And that's what's. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just uh, two years ago. It's opened the uh, Open NXOS, and the actually I not the adoption rate, but um, these day we providing cloud scale network switch. At uh, that switch has the leverage all the feature. Do we have to deploy this Open NXOS? So there's, there's a number of the person name, 7.3, over than 7.3 is all open NXOS. So, are customers asking for it in Are our customers asking for Open Nexus and actively deploying it outside of a lab? Uh, my understanding is, as I know, that is uh, Facebook and Google asking this feature, open NXOS. But Look, uh, normal enterprise actually does not request this kind of. They just use NXOS. Even they deploy open NXOS just using NXOS feature. Is all license is all licenses attached? Actually, uh, not what? all. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I don't know that all license is not or not, but based on, yeah, I, mean, I need to check. Okay. Well, in, in that case, thank you for talking. Thank uh, you. 
And uh, on behalf of the tech committee, I would like to offer you a little gift.